hello youtube welcome back to my video in my previous video i have shown you how you can install the latest version of mysql in your windows pc so in this video i'm going to show you how you can reset uh, the root password of your mysql database okay so in the mysql official website this uh, for there are steps uh, how do you can reset uh, the password for your uh, mysql okay so we'll be following uh, these uh, st steps one by one so here is the uh, the topic resetting the root, uh, root root password for your windows system okay so let's try uh, this step uh, one by one and uh, how we can let's see how we can change the password so currently my root password is uh, root itself so this is my mysql command line client let me open it so my uh, password is actually uh, root itself r o o t so let me write that here root okay so i'll be changing this one to any other uh, desired password okay now the first step here is uh, shown is uh, log, in, log on to your system as administrator so obviously if it's uh, your personal pc definitely you will have a uh, logged in as an uh, administrator so it's already done and the second step second step is saying like uh, stop the mysql server if it's running for a server that's running a window uh, running as a windows service okay so uh, to do this step what you have to do is close down all the mysql uh, command line tools or any other mysql using our uh, programs and now in your start menu just search for services so once you search for your services you can see your desktop app services available in all the windows any version of window even if it is a uh, windows 7 windows 10 windows 8 even for windows xp also these services will be available for your windows okay now just click on this yes, the list of mysql services has been loaded now as it says like you have to stop the mysql server and uh, in my services the usually the mysql server will be available as mysql 80 it's in uh, uh, named as mysql 80 usually it start with uh, uh, my sql and uh, whatever it is uh, this is the same name which you have given while you have installed your mysql okay so in my pc it's mysql 80 i'm directly stopping that to stop that just right click on that service and just click stop okay so wait for uh, the service to be a uh, load yes it's already stopped you can see the status is empty now so it means it is stopped okay now what's the next step so next it's saying like create a text file containing the password assignment statement on a single line replace the password with uh, yeah so this is the uh, the command or the uh, statement what you you first you have to create a text file containing the password so the best place you have to uh, where you have to create your uh, pa uh, the reset password is uh, in your uh, any of the root uh, i mean any of the disk drive uh, uh, local disk drives in the root folder itself so i'm so i'm going to create uh, uh, that file in my uh, local disk drive d so as it uh, says like create a text file containing the password assignment statement so you can just create a new text file here just go to new and text document so i'm giving my name as uh, reset password reset my sql you can give any name okay so once uh, it's done just open it and as it says like uh, you have to give the password assignment statement so this is the password assignment uh, statement copy it and it should be in single line okay so open it and paste it here so once it is done once it is done just save it again and that step is finished and next step is save the file so example uh, assume that the name is yeah you can give any name so it uh, says here like mysql any you can give any name so uh, in this password assignment statement as you, we have already copied this is the uh, command to uh, change the mysql uh, password to uh, this one this uh, string value so you can give any name so i am giving the name uh, the password as root uh, as uh, root uh, q w e r okay i'm just giving uh, the password as this one so you have to update uh, the the uh, whatever you are uh, willing to get, put the new password just uh, update it here okay now save it now come back here again uh, the fifth step uh, it says like uh, open the console window 
uh, to get the command drone means we have to start the command drone okay so just go go to start menu and you can just uh, type cmd you will get the command prompt just click on there so once uh, the command prompt window is open the next step is start the mysql server with uh, the special init file option note uh, option okay notice the backslash in the option value is doubled now we have to navigate to the location where our mysql bin file is located and so in my pc in my pc uh, the mysql is uh, located in the program files and here is a mysql and mysql server 8 and the bin so this is the location we have to navigate uh, through the command uh, command print okay now just copy this location from here and come back here and uh, just navigate uh, to that location by entering cd and inside uh, double quotes just uh, give that path and just press enter okay now it will uh, reach i mean uh, the command prompt has uh, reached the and now what's the next step so uh, the next step is we have to execute this command with uh, the default file and init file uh, edited with uh, our pc data so usually this uh, uh, my.ini file is located in the program data folder of windows so uh, the program data folder is uh, usually located in the c drive so this is my c drive here so the program data is folder is not located i mean it's not shown here it's because it's uh, hidden by default so just go to the view and go to option and in the option you can see the change folder and search option so as it is um, hidden we have to we have to uh, show it uh, by manually uh, by uh, selecting the folder show hidden files okay now just select that and uh, just uh, press apply so once you apply it, you can see your program data folder here okay now just open it and inside this you can see a mysql folder just open it again and uh, inside that you can see mysql server 8 where our mysql ini folder is there okay so you have to execute uh, this command so i'm just copying completely from here this command completely from here and pasting it here okay. just update uh, the default file location as the program data my ini okay my ini so i'm pasting no let me paste copy that uh, path from here again and uh, paste it here till here okay so i'm updating all the single slash uh, with a double uh, backslash you have to update it okay and the init file i mean uh, the the reset uh, the reset file we have uh, uh, located that in our d drive right in d drive reset mysql.txt okay so copy the complete name of that and uh, paste it here and update this as a d okay now make it all in a single line so i'm making it as a single line here yes we all all set to execute uh, the command now just copy all these uh, command from here to the end copy it from here go back to our command prompt and just press your right click of your mouse button and the complete command will be uh, pasted there okay now just press enter and uh, see uh, the logs or uh, the console after updating uh, the password okay so it's asking uh, the firewall access just uh, click on allow access yes it's getting updated just wait for that for around 10 seconds and uh, this won't show any any uh, output or any message just go to your task manager so just right click on your uh, star i mean the taskbar and you can see the task manager and uh, we can see uh, the windows command process is uh, still running you can just uh, end the task from here so once it is done you can uh, uh, the mysql password should have reset with the new password which we have given there now you can go to the services again and just uh, restart uh, this uh, mysql uh, service just start it and 
just try to log in in your uh, mysql with uh, the new password which you have given okay now let me open my mysql command line client again and if i'm just entering root again the previous password it should not log in okay yes it is not it is not login in now i am updating uh, login in uh, with my new password so my new password is root q w e r so it's like root q w e r okay if i'm just pressing enter i can log in in so that's it we have just uh, reset um, our mysql with the new password so i have shown you the step by step uh, process uh, from uh, using the document from the uh, official mysql website itself okay so if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you please uh, like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching